Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of um, the video where I would be changing out the uh, mechanism of, of a clock. So like we've seen, if you haven't seen part 1, please uh, go ahead and have a look at that one and then start with this. So we are at this point where we were at a predicament because the clock hands that we had earlier were not were too large for this particular display. So I have managed to get uh, clock hands that fit. So I have the the hour, the minute, and the second hand here. So let's get to it and let's fit it on this particular wall clock. So first goes the the hour hand. Like I said before, okay, this part would actually face downwards. So. It would be the flush part which would be on top. So we will try to keep it at midnight, zero seconds. Okay. You may have to jostle with it a little bit, but it make sure that it is uh, tightly in there. Okay. So we keep it at midnight. Next was the minute hand, so we will keep that as well at the same position. Okay, like I said before, need to ensure that they are parallel to each other. So the minute hand is a little bit li lifted upwards as you can see. So I have to get it down a little bit, otherwise it will touch the second hand. Push it downwards. So as you can see here, okay, it's in the correct position. Now we put in the the second hand or the center second, whatever you want to call it, and we keep that as well at midnight. So as you can see here, it's touching the minute hand, so we have to make a few adjustments. Guys, they have this. These hands have to be perpendicular to. I'm sorry, parallel to each other. So as you can see, it's still not parallel. Bend it a little bit. And yes. So now, all of these hands are parallel to each other, as you can see here. So we are good to go. So now what we will do is, before we do anything, we will need to secure these in place. Okay. So we turn back and we follow the same sequence that we did earlier to hold this clock in place. We will first. Before we do that, I I know that there is uh, some adjustment that needs to be done here, so I'll quickly do that to ensure you know, there are no problems in the future for inserting the battery.
you may not have to do any of these adjustments but I have done it only specifically so that I can go ahead and um, you know insert the battery later you just do a quick test so as you can see the battery is not going inside the watch is working as you can see here the center second is moving it's just the smooth movement just as mentioned okay, so let's ensure the battery is in completely there we go it takes a double A battery okay, so I've used the same uh, movement uh, same battery of the previous clock So I'm happy with that. It's at midnight, okay. and it's going to move accordingly. Better remove this center second. Let me just set it back. It's not recommended that you move remove it while it's moving, but just once in a while it's fine. So I'll go ahead and hold this there, and there you go. It's moving again. Okay. now what we need to do is we need to place the glass on top and fix this part as well but before that we need to secure the clock movement at the back because as you seen it had this cover which was held with three screws although it had four holes there is no screw base here okay so it's held with three screws to secure this mechanism so let's just put that in okay so let me just put in the screws screw one screw two and screw three so you can tighten it but don't tighten it all the way alternatively go ahead and tighten the rest as well to see if they are in place and then you can tighten it again the key here is to get it just right don't do it so tight so that it strips out the inners okay because this is finally of plastic so the clock has already moved a couple of minutes now we need to go ahead and uh, put the outer covering for that it will be a little bit tricky first we need to place the glass exactly the way that it was earlier if you see any debris or any dust on it you can blow it out Okay, but I would recommend not touching it Place the glass there and just see if at all any of the hands are touching. And we will place these decorative parts on top which actually hold the clock in place. total of four of them now it's up to you how do you actually do this activity but I prefer to go ahead and put in the screws in a very awkward position you may not want to do it this way but I prefer to do it this way so I will screw it in in this position itself it's a little easier Otherwise, you'll find that these things keep falling out. Again, not too tight. Move to the next one. And it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver. 
and no it does not affect the clock movement if you have a magnetic screwdriver we are no ways working close to the movement in there we are just going ahead and fixing in the screws ok so we put two moving to the third and this is the pesky one that already had the stripped threads so that came the you know at the way that way you know since I bought it but yeah okay so now once you have tightened it fair extent you can go ahead and tighten it more but again same thing do not do it so that it strips just tight enough to hold everything in place and finally you have to go ahead and set the time so the time right now is it's 101 so let me go ahead and set the time accordingly all right so there you have it guys I have this smooth movement clock okay and I have replaced the clock movement by myself uh, we uh, some of the things that you need to keep in mind is first of all the thread distance of the, of the original one usually they come with standard ones the next thing is obviously the length of the hands to ensure they don't touch so for example we had the other hands which were quite long and yeah thirdly is you need to have proper tools like the screwdriver to go ahead and open it up and you should not be in a hurry to change go ahead and change this so if you are in a hurry you will strip screws you will break things and and that's not what you want so there you have it guys a very simple um, way of going ahead and changing the clock um, uh, mechanism or the movement and you can save some money by going ahead and doing this yourself so I've changed it from um, a clock that went tick 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 every time to a silent movement um, and this is how you do it so if you liked uh, so uh, if you liked how this is done uh, I would probably say you know go ahead and pick out those old clocks that you have in your home you know and and experiment on them uh, to me this gives me uh, not just it saves me money but I like to do these kind of projects as well so there you have it guys um, how you change the clock mechanism if you have any questions or doubts please feel free to um, comment if you like these videos please give it a thumbs up if you feel that you can if you you want to share this with your friends please you are welcome to do so thank you everyone and have a great day and see you in the next one all right take care